Okay, hello, welcome to this month's um, awareness campaign for 22Q. This month we're going to meet someone who is living with 22Q. Her name is Clara Von Phil, and she grew up with 22Q deletion, um, also known as velocardiofacial syndrome. She was born and raised in Minnetonka, Minnesota, and she is currently 23 years old. She um, has an overall, she had an overall happy childhood and her parents made it a goal for her to be able to succeed as an adult from the moment she was diagnosed with 22Q. They let her live a normal life, even though we don't know, always know what normal is considered. Her family, she has three sisters, two pups, mom and dad, plus a large extended family. Having a big family really helped her to increase her social and emotional skills. Her mom and dad were her biggest cheerleaders throughout her 22Q affiliated life. They were mo the most supportive people when it came to school, sports, and friendships. She could always come back to them and ask for help and encouragement. The only trouble she had was being compared to her siblings, where her parents would say, oh, you're not ready for that. And maybe next time or next year. This made her feel a little frustrated and as she started some activities at a little slower pace than she wanted to. All in all, though, she had a great upbringing while living with 22Q deletion syndrome. She was diagnosed with 22Q at six weeks of age when she was in the hospital for failure to thrive due to issues with the ability to take in adequate amount of calories. While at the hospital, they discovered that she had only one kidney and had a hole in her heart which eventually closed. Due to her feeding issues, she had a feeding tube until around nine months. Her main health issues had been related to her ears. She had reoccurring ear infections and her hearing continued to decline. Recently, she had a left eardrum reconstructed and that has been ex an exciting change. As a result of such an early diagnosis, she was able to receive therapy such as speech, occupational and physical therapy from a, a very young age. She believed this made a big difference in who she is today. Along with her 22Q diagnosis, she has learning disabilities, which affects her time at school greatly. So as long as she could remember, she's had an IEP, which if you don't know, that's an individualized education plan. And that has helped her enormously even today. The only hard thing about living with 22Q, she says, is in, being in school was worrying what her peers thought about her. She went to a great school, which had lots of disability services. Um, some of her accommodations include having extra paras, which are like teacher's assistants in the classroom, extended time on tests, extended time on assignments, note cards for exams, limited questions on homework, and some extra help in specific subjects. Being a student in special ed education made things harder for her to make friends. She did get bullied. She's not going to lie about it. But being in a school where bullying was taken seriously and where when she talked to a teacher about it, it stopped. That helped a lot. Overall, school was a positive experience for her. And she encouraged, encouraged all her families to have their children go to school that has the resources you need for your children with 22Q differences. Well, to start off, there are a little accom accomplishments. Let's, let's name a few of those. She had some milestones that children had like walk, crawling, walking, talking, and that passed everyone with flying colors, right? But to say her biggest accomplishment was to graduate from high school. It was 12 years of dedication and hard work. She also re received a few college scholarships through her high school which was a real honor. And she was very fixated on getting a job. So after convincing her parents she was ready, she started working at a local grocery store at the age of 14. It was during that time that she realized that her true love was working with children and that this is what she wants to do, right? She also in love, enjoys music and playing the piano for about 15 years now. She was very conscious about her voice so a few years ago, she started taking voice lessons and singing in front of an audience. 
It has been both challenging and rewarding and has given her a lot of confidence. She also has a passion for theater and has been um, able to play in a few plays as many of the, as part of, as well as part of the costume crews. If a doctor says doesn't mean it's true, prove them wrong. You can do so much more than what they are telling you. Believe in your dreams and pursue them. This is what she's saying, right? She's encouraging all of us. Um, her mom once told her that a physical therapist said that she would never be able to walk or talk. But here I am today, she says, I am doing so much more. Yes, doctors know a lot, but there's a lot they don't know as well. And this is a quote from Clara. How exciting, right? She um, is in her senior year at college, and she says college has been a struggle, mainly due to the fact that um, COVID was going on during her high school time. And so she does say that one thing that really helped her with college was working with the school student assess accessibility services. Some professors in college don't understand why students with disabilities need extra help. So it's great to get support from the people that do understand the struggles, disabilities, disabled people go through with learning. It has been hard to make friends with her for her, with her social skills not being 100%. But who has social skills at 100%, right? No one, not one of us does. So she has a close group of friends that she hangs out with and they have really been able to help her get through all of this. She encourages all of us to get out there and do things and she loves doing the things she loves. And that is how she is sharing this part of her story. And she wants to share that with you as well. No matter what you're going through, know that you can do more things, right? Than what others say that you can. So thank you today. I'm so honored to share Clara's story with you. And I want everyone to enjoy this. And we'll see you next month for our 22Q Awareness Campaign. And thank you so much.